everyone, just wanted to make a very, very quick, hopefully, video that, uh, just to start off 2020. So, with the end of the decade, and, you know, we're starting a new one, I just want to take a look back and, like, YouTube's been a really big part of, part of my life. You know, I watch a lot of YouTube most days, and, uh, you know, I'm on YouTube, of course, and, so, yeah, it's pretty important to me. So, I, th I thought I'd take a moment and just go over some of my favorites fr from the past decade. Most of which I I haven't been watching until like maybe four, five years ago maybe. But, you know, so it's mostly the latter half of the decade, but still. And I don't really have that many that I kind of stopped watching. Because generally, besides a, a few PewDiePie, I, I've been off and, on and off with him over the years. I generally haven't stopped watching the people that have been my favorites. So, just gonna, real quick, just cover some of my favorites. So I think I'll do ten people that I generally watch daily, and then another five that are more periodically, because they don't post daily or anything. And, you know, most of these are gamers, so... <laughs> it just comes to the territory. Uh, so the first one I wanted to talk about is Wilbur Soot. Been watching him the past maybe a year, however long he's been on. It's been, it's been really entertaining. He mostly does stuff on Minecraft, more of like the online stuff where he's playing with a bunch of other people in a big community, and it's been pretty entertaining. I definitely recommend watching him. Okay, next up I have a Peanut Butter Gamer slash PBG Gameplays slash <laughs> Space Hamster slash PB and Jeff. <laughs> Because, uh, well, PB and Jep is on only PBG gameplays, so... Basically, it comes down to those three channels. Um, so, the Peanut Butter Gamer and Space Hamster, who's Jeff, uh, they have a Let's Play channel that they do PBG gameplays where they play a lot of stuff. And they haven't had a... They've been on a break for the past couple months, but they'll be back, I guess, in due time, whenever they're ready. And, you know... And so I've been watching them lately because you know they haven't been posting anything. But they are one of the people that I've been watching daily. They're usually pretty funny, have a lot of fun, mostly Nintendo type games. And yeah, you know, they're pretty pretty fun. Next up, I'll have a RT game, the first of the various Irish YouTubers that will be on this list. <laughs> he's got a he does a a lot of uh, content where he's basically destroying islands, stuff like that, being a general nuisance to the population in his games. He also generally has uh, big streams every now and then where he has a bunch of people build something on in Minecraft, like, for example, a Disney theme world. And, you know, people, people can get pretty, uh, pretty wild in those. So it's pretty entertaining. Uh, next up, I'd like to talk about Patrick Static. He was really, really cool. He's a really, really cool dude. He uh, plays with uh, Wade, uh, Gar, and JP a lot. Uh, one of them is also on this list. I'm sorry I don't have the other two, but I, don't, I just don't watch them as much. They're all still cool people. They're still really awesome. But, um, yeah, Patrick plays with them a lot, and th th their games are pretty, usually pretty fun. Next up, uh, I'll have the... Lord Minion 777 Wade he's really awesome he's kind of the whenever he's playing with a Pat Gar and JP he's kind of the straight man of the group where he's just kind of the one that they bounce off of but with a Mark Jack and Bob he's kind of the person that <laughs> they kind of bag on a bit and sometimes it's deserved sometimes it's not <laughs> and it's usually pretty funny um, following him, I'll have Bob, of course, who I think is just absolutely hilarious. He's one of the best, best content creators out there. I love him. My Skirm, by the way, his channel name. Next up, I will have Jack Spadicey, Jacksepticeye, Sean, you know, the next part of that group. He's really awesome, too. Love him. He's such like an inspiration to everyone because because he's you know he's just an awesome person. Um, next up, I'm not going to talk about Mark yet because he's obviously towards the end of the list. Next up, I will talk about Call Me Kevin. 
who is the next of... Oh, by the way, check out the guy was one of the Irish YouTubers. Who, and Call Me Kevin is the next Irish YouTuber who kind of takes RT games thing, you know, of just being a general nuisance to the NPCs in his game, and takes it to an extreme, and it's absolutely wonderful. <laughs> just watch any of his Sims videos and you'll get what I mean. Jim Pickens is a hero, and he's our dear leader. Uh, next up, I'd like to talk about Alpharad slash Alpharad Plus. Shout out to the plusies out there. A lot of uh, Smash Brothers content, a lot of Mario Party content. Uh, lately, this year's been a lot of Mario Maker content, and they they basically just they're meme generators mostly. Him and Joe on Alfred Plus, uh, really really awesome dudes. Next up, I think I've run the gauntlet of everyone except my last choice of the list, which is Markiplier slash Unis Anis. A lot of, most people should know who Markiplier is. He's one of the biggest names of the decade when it comes to YouTube. And, you know, throughout the years, I never got tired of any of his videos. I always love watching his stuff, especially with, when he's playing with Bob, Wade, and Jack. It's just, it's just pure fun. But, um, to add to this year, as far as, like, the channels I watch daily, to go along with him is his, uh, the side project he's doing with, uh, Ethan, Crank Gameplays. I don't have on this list, but he's awesome too. Go check him out. The Unis Anis is a project that they're doing where they're uploading a video every day, but after the one year, like they start a new channel, so they're up uploading one video on that channel every day, but after a year's up, they're gonna delete that channel. And most of the videos are pretty fun, where they're just, just trying random shit, and it's usually pretty funny, usually a lot of fun. It's definitely worth checking out. Okay, so that's the 10 choices I had that you guys can check out that I watch pretty much daily, so you can kind of see how my day is going, who I'm watching, how my day is basically going as I'm watching YouTube. So, I wanted to give a shout out to five other channels that I don't watch daily, but I do watch a lot of, which would be a... First one is Deskbug, who kind of has a, a style similar to Alpha Rads, but he doesn't do a... I don't know if he has a Let's Play channel. If he does, I might have to go find that. Maybe he does. I don't think so, but... I'll have to check after I finish recording this, because now I'm in curious. Anyway, he's, he's a lot like Alpharad. He's pretty funny. He does a lot of uh, the gamer-type memes. He, he's pretty cool. Next up is Jax Films, one of the OGs. Most of his f videos are just pure joy, <laughs> hysterical. He, he's a genius at making memes. I, I just love him. He's he's a great dude. Even if he doesn't act like it on camera. Uh, next up, in a similar vein, Seth Everman, who is like the best meme making video creator on YouTube, I think, in my opinion. He's just amazing. I, lo I love him. Well, I guess there's an asterisk, because I do think there's one better, but it's not directly in the... It's not kind of... It's not the same. And I guess I'll go ahead and talk about him right now. Next on the list is Nuxtaku, who makes anime videos, but is also definitely in the meme territory as well. He's also a great... Still waiting on that face reveal. It'll be trending in Japan when it does. Check out Nuxtaku, if you, especially if you watch anime. Even if you don't, I highly recommend watching him, because he's just hilarious. A lot of fun to watch. And then finally, I have... I want to talk about somebody, Nate Wants to Battle, slash Nate and Dookie. And, you know, Dookie Shed as well. Nate Wants to Battle is, makes a lot of music. He also plays D&D on streams, if you ever want to watch that. Um, but he makes a lot of music, a lot of covers of various songs, such as video games and TV shows, anime openings. But he also um, had a gaming channel with Dookie Shed, who is also deserves a shout out. Duke Shed's awesome too, but he hasn't been making content much really, so yeah. Um, they, they uh, it still exists, of course, but they used to make a lot of, uh, let's, of, uh, daily videos together, which, you know, much like a, how, uh, PVG Gameplays and Alpha Red Plus are on the list, th those are some of my favorites too. They kind of follow in the vein of those, and they were pure joy, and Nate's just, in general, incredibly talented. 
really, really cool. Really, really cool dude. And that basically covers the most of the content creators I watch. There's plenty more, but I don't. These were the main ones that I wanted to focus on, just so you guys get an idea of what a uh, what I generally watch. All these people are amazing. Go check them out if you're interested in any of their channels. Highly recommend it. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye.